Hey everybody, my name is Thomas Nixon, and welcome to the game Cradle. Pretty nice game it looks like, and I've already done the training mission, and I'm ready to get into it, but so let's do this. Let's reset. No tutorial, I already did that. Graphically, this looks absolutely great. And then, one thing I should mention, loading times do take a long time. So, might as well give you that heads up. And this is the prime example. Nature. So, how the hell did we get on the floor? And that's a pretty advanced helmet. What is that, the Oculus VR version 5000? Mm. Well, that's pretty nice too. That's Ooh, nice little hut. Where the heck are we? Is that a radio of some sort? Let's see. Tell me how I got fat and I smell bad. Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say goodbye to Angas. Yeah, that's your note. I didn't say goodbye to Angas. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him lest he gets sick. Follow this recipe. Cook until it's um. What a what body toss in my life? Is this what you're talking about? It's a nice robotic body, if you ask me. And I'm already breaking it. Let's see, put your back. There we go. So, what's our first thing? Put the red pot, so let's find ourselves a. Let's look at this stuff. Is this the red pot we're talking about? Yes. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, a knife. That looks important. What is it? Add a glass of water. Oh, there's our glass. This looks like a sink. Got some sort of iPad thing. And we don't have the password. It's probably ours. Or well, actually, like it should be probably whoever owns this hut. Which just might be us. So, he, he did it. Later. This is a, this is a pretty fancy lighter. Let's keep you. Sweet cup on by the river. Like whoa. Can I explore all of this? Oh, we already got fish. What is that? That's some sort of complex. A tram. I hope we get to ride it. This looks perfect size for that bowl. Probably an eagle. 
Hopefully that's not I've got. Non gots our only friend. I feel sorry. Wee. I knock this stuff down. There's gotta be something around here I can pick up to knock it off. I'm not supposed to pick you up. Oh, you I can pick up. Let's see. No, I didn't want to drop you. <clears throat> Got one. It did say two cut. It was a good thing I grabbed that knife. Any game you need a knife. Never know when they might come in handy. Cut some cloth. Cut two palm olives. Whatever the heck these are. Why'd you have to land on the floor? There's that. You. Mm -hmm. Both of you land on the floor. So I actually got physics, but it doesn't help you when you land on the floor. And that note did say something about oh, dried root. Crush it, what's over here that we can use? Oh, there we go. And of course, you land on the floor. You look sim colored. Pepper, which is no, it's salt. It's right to the pepper. It's, this is the first one on the right of something. Back over there. Oh, we're all done. Let's see, is this where this goes? Yep. Are you on guts? Oh, you need to have some sort of vest. Come on, my guts. This, I gotta change your vest. You know, it said something about changing your vest.
What the hell happened to you, dude? That is not natural. And it's got numbers here. 2053. I don't know what that means. I wonder how fast I put that on. Find an application for you. Sorry for that iPad. Two oh five three. There we go. I got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is Anabish. It must be us. Yep. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Batchin says lots of you used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. Is that the dome of that other building? The area's been deserted ever since. Aside from myself, Batchin and Angas. Angas has very powerful claws. He obeyed for my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in an explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this, this transparent layered vest. Like, in that program about greenhouses. It keeps Angrats warm during the day, and when the night chills arrive, I put them into another warm vest. I collect and digital, digitize flowers. Like, attach to that robot's legs. I look for the prettiest ones and make phytocopies of them. Tabaha then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. We got a new genometer. Measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. Cock batch in at 47 and retrieved by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured, though that took a little longer. But when aimed at Angas and myself, it still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's just right. I have this dream sometimes in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's someone beside me, but I don't see who it is. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation. Like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can't remember what or to whom. I feel like some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin makes me want to go there, to that town. Grandpa Bachin is died. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tevahan even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything's still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town for my dreams. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I am white. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulan Batur. Too bad that Janama won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. I'll look up the post over my bed if somebody remember. For some reason, I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy. An odd little space case. On God's found it in somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw his dark scrolls in the field. Got scared and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the year and fly straight as the crow on a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. Sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will mystery of play. But now I can't find it. That's probably the poster he was talking about. But I'm going to take care of that next time. So try to enjoy yourselves until then. Bye.